I'd ask whether or not you think I will someday be on Mount Rushmore. But here's the problem. Donald Trump continues to boast he'll be the most presidential person ever, other than possibly Abe Lincoln. If I did it, joking, totally joking, having fun, the fake news media will say he believes he should be on Mount Rushmore. But even people who voted for him take a very different view. I'm a bit disappointed. And the reason is because I think he was the right guy at the time to shake things up, to move things forward but he's causing too much chaos and not bringing enough order to the government. I think his ego is getting in the way, so I'm hoping he's going to take a step back and take a look at himself, and he, I think he can do the change if he gets rid of his ego. I don't think he's been as presidential as I as I'd ideally want, um, but I think uh, he's getting used to the job as well, and, and I think he'll get there. Donald Trump has described his use of social media as modern day presidential. He clearly believes he's communicating in ways which meet the requirements of the Twitter age. But that has meant upending tradition and rejecting long held norms. In terms of behavior, his presidency marks a break from the past. Of course, if you travel through the American heartland, you'll find many Trump supporters who regard him still as a presidential anti-hero and a fellow outsider. Someone like them who's long been sneered at by East and West Coast elites. We're considered outsiders at times, but so is he. And he's coming into a place where he makes people uncomfortable. We've been there. We know what that's like. Yeah, we like that. We relate to that. Presidential reputations change over time. Mavericks become mainstream, divisive figures become unified. But for now, Donald Trump remains deeply polarizing, a national treasure to some, a national embarrassment to others.